hey guys in this video i'm gonna talk about how to transcode your video inside davinci resolve let's get started all right guys so sometimes when you import your video and it is kind of not the extension that you want or the codec that you want so for example right here i have a video that shot on gs6 i shot it on mov but I kind of want it in MP4 and also this MOV format, the file is kind of a little bit too large for me to handle right now. So let's go to the file location right here. So right now you can see I have all these video. Let me highlight all of them properties. So all these videos right now all together are 43 gigs, 43.7 gigabytes and it is kind of really large for this amount of video but some are you know reasonable because some are actually pretty long so for example let's go to so for this footage it is currently 2 minutes and 41 seconds and the file size is this is c045 let's see 45 is 3.1 3.71 gigs and for 41 which is 14 gigs let's see 41 or one right here oh this this video is 10 minutes long so it, it takes about 14 gigs i want to transcode them to mp4 and at the same time i want to reduce the file size so what i can do here is i can select all of them and then just import just drag it down in the timeline below and then we can just kind of see everything when it's laid out so we want to transcode our all these videos what we're gonna do is that we're gonna go to the deliver page i'm gonna pick a location let's pick where it was just now let's go to the bit let's go right here let's copy this and then paste it here i don't want the files to be at the original location but let's create a new folder instead and name it transcode it let's go inside and hit save we don't need to bother about the file name at the moment because right down here i want to click individual clips so when it renders it's gonna render individual clips instead of the whole timeline all together so we're gonna go come here individual clips and for video we want to transcode it to mp4 codec h264 h265 h265 is the most efficient one but h264 is the codec that most computer can decode very very easily and faster encoder let's just set it to auto and then resolution let's set to timeline resolution right now my timeline is set to 1080p even though i shot everything at 5.8k i don't need that much resolution so i'm just gonna downscale all of them to 1080p which is also will take up less space quality best encoding profile automatic everything auto and then let's go to file and right here at file name uses let's give it source name so every file is going to have the same source name instead of custom name and after we're done with all this setting we can just click add to render queue and then one hour render queue pop up we want to go and render all and right now it's going to go through all the videos and render everything in 1080p mp4 it's going to run through all the video and transcode them to mp4 go to our file right now transcode it right now we can see it is transcoding the first footage and it's coming up right now and then for all of them it's gonna take about 12 minutes so after everything is being rendered it's gonna come out like this like exactly what's here so right now when i highlight them all of them are just 4.48 gigs so it it reduced a tremendous amount of storage and also right now it is in mp4 format so with this method you can change any of your video to any format that you want them to be so right here we got png quicktime anything any format that you want it to be right here i don't know if i mentioned this but my timeline resolution is at 1080p and also and 24 frames per second i believe timeline settings right it is at 24 frames second so so yeah guys so that is how you transcode video using davinci resolve so what you need to do is just change this to individual clips and also 
make sure you have a separate folder for your clips and also when you transcode just make sure the timeline is within your desired resolution and also the frame rate so yeah guys if you find this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and also if you want more tips like this make sure you subscribe davinci resolve is a powerhouse and if you want to know what more davinci resolve can do make sure you click this video right here and i'll see you guys in the next one